Hello guys, welcome to my channel and also welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to set up Halo Client in your Paradactyl um, panel. So, if you're wondering what is Halo Client, so, in, in, so basically, Halo Client is a web-based dashboard that is basically uh, provides additional features in your Paradactyl game panel. This is basically a fork from Hel uh, Helicactyl, which is a um, another fork from Dash um, Dashdactyl, which I made a video about. Which sadly it has been discontinued. So this is a, a re, uh, cover, another bit, um, another cover of the of the dash tactile. So if you want to learn how to set up dash tactile, then this video will be for you. So in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to set it up. So before I start this video, make sure you have a um, both a paradactyl panel as well as a node, and that's all you have to need to set up. So basically. Yeah, if you have a virtual machine and you already have set up a Paradactyl, which I'll be showing in a link in the description. So if you have that already included, then you can just install the, um, set it up and then you get it all ready. So, so, um, where I am right now is part, um, I have created a, both the, um, node as well as a Paradactyl panel. So this is my Paradactyl panel. So in this step, I'll be doing a installation of how to like config your hello client and stuff like that so that's my process in this video so i'll teach you guys how to do that so let's go to it so first of all on the link in the description i'll provide all the link uh, all the details on how to install um install it so stuff like that so first of all you have to go to your release you'll be included in the docs which are also going to be linked in the description and install the hello client um egg as you probably need that to install. So once you have that installed right here, you got that installed. So next, you're gonna to go to your nest and you can go either create or import it to another existing nest, but I'll just create a new one. I'll call this costume. It's for testing, for tutorial purposes. And there you go. Now click nest again, click import, choose file, and click hello client egg. Adjacent. Open that. Click the um, nest, which is will be because of any nest you want, and click import. And there you go. Now you have your egg imported. So next, you go to server and you click a new server, and then you just create a new server. So I'll call this all our client, and then put your um, your server owner, which is your username. Default allocation. So if you never um know my, my tutorial. Basically, set up a um, allocation so your private IP will be your your IP address, and the analysis one it will be the external IP, which is your public IP, and the port will be two thousand. Or you can put any port you want, but for this tutorial purposes, I put it in two thousand as a default um setting. So put that as um two thousand, and then once you're done, just put how much how much memory you want. Just do forty eight. This size you can put. It how much like 10 gigabytes stuff like that and then on the nest you go here and then go custom and egg hello client and here be sure you put it as latest if it's something say other than latest then you have to change it to latest that's the only thing that you have to worry everything else you can just leave as is and just create server and that will create the server itself so before we um while we wait i'll need to explain um what ports you need to open for this thing to work so for the ports you need to open is um the basically um in my pterodactyl tutorial basically all ports must be open or a spe specific ports if you want to open only specific ports specifically you need to open 2000 port this is what will be your um your online client will be your for your web interface for your website stuff like that so have that set up so once this is all ready uh, then we can set it up under the files and we're going to set up the JSON files while we wait, wait for it to install, we're gonna open our um your Bitvice or any SSH client you use. Open the, um your SSH client, and then we're gonna follow one of the documentary about um configuring the domain. So we're gonna follow that. So follow the steps, which will be but everything will be provided in the description. So step one, just have a um a domain which I already have set it up. Make sure that domain is pointed to your thing. So mine could be all of that my domain as well as the IP, public IP, so have that set up ready, and then you just right click, copy that, do the same thing again, do that, make sure you're on the root, there you go, 
And then we're gonna remove this just in case it has a default. If it says no, uh, no such file directory, don't worry about that. If it's not good, you do that. Then you type your um, domain for your your Hola client, and now we'll make a certificate under the um, the new domain. And then once it's cleaning up the challenges, and it says congratulations, we'll be we should it's all good. Now right click, and then we're gonna have a new file which is gonna be the Hola con. Uh, client config, which we're gonna have it set up. Copy all of this, and then you can edit it on the notepad and then change all the things. But yeah, I should probably do that. So I'm gonna copy paste that. And for this part, we need to edit the specific thing that we need to edit. So the Ola client will be your Ola domain. We're gonna copy paste that, and then just copy paste all of this. Oh, this is all the client domain. Just copy and paste that. And then on this is um, IP the domain of the node it will be your private uh, public domain, uh, not public domain, the public IP, which is this. Just copy and paste that. Make sure you copy and paste that. And then the port will be two thousand, which is your default port, or any or any other port that you configure to. Just copy and paste that to there. And once it's already done that, just copy and paste that, and then copy and paste it to the cons to the SSH. Control X, Y, and then enter. And there you go. Now you all have to set up. So we need to test if it's correct. And we should test successfully. That's good. And then we can just restart the end six. There you go. And then back to our all our client. We're gonna click restart. And now once it's um it says um all our clients they're checking successfully loaded and it's all good. So we go files and then go on settings. So this is part that I will not explain it in depth, but I will only show you the most important part, which is the you know the setup up how to do um get it up and running stuff like that. So I'm gonna teach you that. So for the um for the website part, you can just um change the website link to your all our clients. So I'll uh, put my all our client website. Super secret will be any, any, you have to be any password, like you can just make any password with it. So I'll just call it super secret. Don't worry about it, you can't hack me. Okay. And your paradigm panel, which will be your panel, which you set up for there, which is on top right there. You just copy and paste that or just type it manually if you want to. And then on the key, just click, uh, on the key, we're gonna go to our, um, admin panel and then you go here, create new, and then read and write in all, all of them. And call this all our client or anything really. Click that. Copy and paste this. Go back to the console. And then on the key, we just copy and paste both the key and the account key. The news, you can set it up. You can set up anti parallel VM. You can do that. If you have a capture, you can uh, set it up, which is actually not that hard to do. First, you can keep it up. If you have something in maintenance, you can set it to false. And then admins, you can copy your Discord ID, which is your, like your Discord ID, if you have developer mode active. And you can just copy paste it so you can access it even, um, you allow any other people to access it. Link first, you can have, um, your advertisement to link to people and get like extra coins for your server. I'll set this to false for the tutorial purposes, but you can keep it on if you want to set it up. Share with us is basically another program that allows you to share your uh, website to other people and get like more people to use your program. I'll keep this false. Link play, same thing, which I'll set it to false. Yeah, links. You can just, um, set that up if you want to. For this part, you don't, for subdomain, you don't, you don't need to worry about that. Unless if you want to config your subdomains, it's like for like server stuff like that, you can config it right here, which I'm not covering in depth. Security, you can just keep that as is. Store limit. You can customize the store limit, like how many RAM this CPU, how many servers they can allow to make, and how many backups they can make in the server, database, how many database they can um, open, or and how many ports you want to open. SFTP for the mail, which if you want to set up a mail for people like automated stuff like that. Billing, you can set up a billing if you want to um, find a way to people to pay you money, like for business purposes. Razor Pay, Stripe, same thing. For the products, it will be um, like what kind of products you want to make. So on the ID will be your egg. So under your egg, it will be say one Minecraft like that. That will be your ID. So if you want to make a specific ID right here, the next egg, you can make like what kind of ID is it. So 
So for the console, it says one. Then we we make a a Forge Minecraft server with. Uh, you can just change the name. You can put image. You can set the price of how many um, coins it will take. And then you, this is how much. This is what the server will provide you. Same to two, three, four stuff like that. As you can set up as if in your server if you want to do that. API you can just um and this is the um where you can put ads and stuff like that other API stuff. The bots will be our Discord bots like if you want to set up a functionality as the comment says set this through if you want to make users forcibly join the server like basically if you set this app you can force people to join your Discord server or if they use your service stuff like that. Password generator if you want to and make people to jo sign up for that for your program. So always set this true if you want people to join. Allow will be like allow new people to join in. So and then this part is the important part. The auto um the authentication auto two. We're gonna set this up. So make sure you have Discord developer open. Just start like that. And then under says auto au two. It will be here. So you can have it set up like that. So don't worry about that. So. So on so on the things this ID will be your client ID just copy and paste that. Your secret will be your secret. Don't worry, I'm resetting my thing or blurring it. So copy the secret I uh, client ID, and then the link will be your redirects. So the redirects will be your 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 redirects. So we'll do HTTP to all of that. The domain, like and do callback. Make sure you have that um, redirect set, uh, specifically set up. So do that. My bad. So basically, the link just remove the call. Just basically, just your domain like that. Don't worry about putting extra. Just link and then just your domain stuff like that. There you go. Just click save content and we start. Now, once you click that, you get your all the client all up and running. So when you go to the client. This will go directly to the sign in to stuff like that. Click sign up and then we click Discord and then we click authorize. And there you go. You got your all log client all set up and ready to go. There you go. So you can have, you can set up your Kofu, um, coupon, your username ID for your product or panel. You can stuff like that if you want to change that. We got all everything already, so you can have servers, scrape, and then earn stuff like that. So there you go. So if, if, if for further, further assistance on how to set up your Ola client, be sure to join the Discord server link in the description, as I said. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.